everybody. I wanted to make a video that prior to me setting out for my through hike, I couldn't find pretty much any information on, which is through hiking with braces. <laughs> so if this video could help anybody who's contemplating doing one and you are not done with your braces treatment yet, um, I hope it helps. <laughs> so anyway, um, for those of you who don't know me, I am Spotter and I through hiked the Appalachian Trail in 2022 northbound and I am only part way through my treatment with my braces. So prior to setting out, I was looking up whatever I could find online and I found literally one single blog article about it and the uh, girl who wrote the blog only set out and I think she did the JMT so it was like a month long hike and I couldn't find anything else. So wanted to just share my experience and what I used on the trail and what worked for me and what didn't. Um, basically this, if you're considering doing a long trail, multi-month hike and you have traditional braces, um, typically you have to show up for your adjustments every four weeks. I would consider postponing your hike until your treatment is over. I have self ligating braces which basically allows me to have my treatments spaced further apart. I typically go in every eight to 12 weeks, depending on what adjustments being done and what adjustment is going to need to be done. So it was a little bit easier for me. So what I did was prior to leaving, I made sure I had an adjustment the week before I left. I didn't want to cut it too close because just in case I had any pokies or any problems, I want to be able to go back and have them fix it before I left. So I did that the week before and then I had my next appointment scheduled out, I believe 11 weeks. They want to see me back in 10. I pushed it out to 11 and I went and hiked all those weeks. Uh, it landed perfectly for me to find a way to get off trail, fly home. So I uh, hiked I think 10 miles that day. The next day I flew home and the following day I, or excuse me, yes, the next day I flew home and then I had my appointment um, and then I flew back to the trail the following day. And when I was there, I had set my next appointment for, I believe, another 11 weeks, something like that. And then I hiked the rest of the trail and it worked out beautifully because I finished the trail a couple weeks before my next follow-up appointment was. However, I did have some complications on trail. My wires popped out on me twice on trail. Um, the first time happened when I was in, I think, Massachusetts. So I had to find an orthodontist who would help me and I couldn't find one until Vermont. So that was a problem. Um, you might experience issues like that on trail. You might not. If you don't, you're lucky. But it happened again to me in New Hampshire. Popped back out again. So I just waited until I got home because I knew I was going to be done within a few weeks and I didn't want to have to find somebody in these rural towns to do it. Um, would I do it again? No, I wouldn't. I would not do another multi-month through hike with braces still on. It was too difficult. You're limited on what you can eat because you really want to be careful when you're on trail that you don't eat things you're not supposed to because then if something breaks, now you have to find a way to get it fixed. And depending on what it is, most orthodontists won't touch the work of another orthodontist. So you will more than likely have to go back home and get it corrected. But I do want to share with you what I did use on the trail for those who want to do short through hikes or if you want to do a multi-month through hike and risk having to come home. Um, so originally I started out with this. It is a mini travel flosser and it opens and has a top that stores the little sprayer thing and you just attach it in there. Fill this up with water, close it up, and then just turn it on and you're good to spray yourself. So I started out with this because the flosser, it cleans your teeth so amazingly. And for those who have braces, you probably have an at-home flosser because it's amazing. So I started out with this, but I did not have it for more than I think like a month or so. It just was a pain in the butt to have to make sure I had extra unflavored water all the time just to fill this up and clean my teeth. So I ended up 
um, at a Walmart, I think in Tennessee, and I was looking for something else to help me get the stuff out of my teeth. Now, I use these, they are, sorry, is it focusing? They are um, called platypus flosses. They're specifically designed for people with orthodontic braces because it has one side that can slip underneath the bracket and, you know, floss your teeth like normal. So I carried these for every single day on the trail. Kind of a pain to carry individual flossers, but when you get to a town or a trash can, you can dump the used ones. But when I was at the Walmart, I found these. These are also little flossers. They are by Gum. And these things were my savior on the trail. So just take one and you could use it to go in between your brackets and pull out any of the food. And then I would just use a water bottle and swish my mouth out and spit. So that was a game changer for me. And that once I picked up these, that is when I sent the flosser home. And I didn't really have any issues with these. I'm sure there were still times where I would probably walking around with food caught in my braces <laughs> because I just didn't notice it. Um, unfortunately, food gets trapped everywhere when I eat, which again, is another reason why I wouldn't do a multi-month through hike again with braces. I'll wait until I get them off and then I'll head out to another one. But I just wanted to do that quick video. Hopefully anybody with braces who's considering through hiking got something out of it. Um, you don't really need anything special. Just like I said, be careful with what you eat out there because if you are out there and you're nowhere near home and something breaks, there's a high chance you're going to have to go back home to fix it. And that is a pain in the butt when you're on a through hike. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section and I will gladly answer them. Talk to you guys later.